Hi! In this video, we'll be using LiveType to create the kind of scrolling text effect that you might see on a TV news channel. Our goal is to create a simple scrolling message like the one you can see in the sample video clip. Here are the key steps to creating a scrolling message effect in LiveType. The first step is to gather and tidy up the text that we will use in our scrolling message. It is important to note that this effect will only work if all of the text in the scrolling message is laid out as a single paragraph. We need to remove any line breaks and carriage returns. It's OK to leave in the punctuation though. In this video, we will use Text Edit to clean up our text. Text Edit is a free text editor supplied with all Macs. However, you can use any text editor to complete this step. Once we have our text correctly edited, we can move across to Live Type. In Live Type, we will create a text track with our text. Then, we'll change the size of the text and its position on the screen to suit our purpose. Once the text track is correctly sized and positioned, we can apply our scrolling effect. To make our message scroll, we'll be using the pre made Live Type effect Crawl Left. Finally, if necessary, we'll adjust the timing of the effect so that the message scrolls at the correct speed. With that covered, let's get started. First, let's go to Text Edit and tidy up our text. Here is a sample of some text that we can use to scroll across our screen. You can see that it is split into a number of paragraphs. For the effect to work properly in live type, the text should be in one long paragraph. We'll edit the text and remove any line breaks, being careful to retain the original text and spacing. Now, we'll copy the text to the clipboard so that we can use it in live type. First, we'll select all the text. Then, we'll copy it to the clipboard. OK, we're finished with text edit. Now we can go to live type and create the effect. Once we're in live type, the first thing to do is to paste our copied text into a text track. To do this, we make sure our cursor is in the text entry box and then paste the text from the clipboard. Now we can change the size and position of the text to suit our purpose. In this example, the text is too big and it needs to be positioned at the bottom of the screen. First, let's change the size of the text to something smaller. We do this using the text tab in the inspector. I'm going to choose 30 points from the size selector. Now we can move the text track down to the bottom of the screen. We do this by dragging the track in the canvas. A tip here is to start dragging, then hold down the shift key on the keyboard to keep the track moving in a straight line. Now we've finished adjusting the appearance of the text, we can apply the effect. We're going to use the crawl left effect, which is part of the scrolls and crawls set. This is found in the effects tab of the media browser. To apply the effect, we need to select it from the list and then click Apply. If we look at the timeline, we can see that the effect bar that has appeared is longer than the text track bar. This means that if we view the sequence at the moment, we won't see the whole message scroll across the screen. We can fix this by first altering the duration of the text track to match the length of the effect track. To do this, drag the end of the text track to the desired length.
Now, let's test our sequence. We want to see if we can read the message and if we need to speed up or slow down the scrolling. Don't be fooled by the first run through. The first time you preview sequence, live type has to render a preview. This usually means that it plays slower than the regular speed for the first pass. Once the red line above the timeline has turned to green, then we'll see things running at full speed. This is moving too quickly to read. Let's slow down the speed of the scrolling by making it take longer to move the message across the screen. We can do this by extending the duration of the text track and the effects track. Let's start by extending the duration of the text track. First, select the text track, then select the timing panel in the inspector. I'm going to change the duration to 30 seconds and then press the enter key on the keyboard to accept that change. We can see that this has made the text track longer in the timeline so that the end of it has disappeared off the screen. Let's change our view of the timeline so we can see it all again. To do this we'll use a timeline zoom control. Click the timeline zoom control at the small end and everything will become visible. Now, we need to make the text effect track have the same duration as the text track. We'll do this by simply dragging the end of the effect track to match the length of the text track in the timeline. Let's have a look at the timing now. Again remember the first pass is rendering the preview of the sequence. Wait for the red line to disappear so that we can see the real speed. With that adjustment the message is scrolling at a good speed where it is easy to read. We finish making our titles we can now save and export the sequence. Let's just go over those key points again. The first step was to gather and tidy up the text that we used in our scrolling message. Remember, this effect will only work if all of the text in the scrolling message is laid out as a single paragraph, with no breaks or carriage returns. To do this, we use text edit, but you can use any text editor to complete this step. You can even do it directly in the text field in LiveType. Once we had our text correctly edited, we copied it to the clipboard so we could use it in LiveType. In LiveType, we created a text track with our text. Then we changed the size of the text and its position on the screen. Once a text track was correctly sized and positioned, we applied the pre-made LiveType effect Crawl Left. Finally, we adjusted the timing of the effect so that the message scrolled at the correct speed. And there you have it how to create a scrolling message effect in live type thanks for watching